Hi, welcome to Easy Gourmet. I'm your chef today, Michael Marcel. Woo! All right, thank you. We're live today at the hockey arena for the, uh, what, what show are we at today? The Lake Region Builder Show. And we've got a great audience with us. Thanks for joining us. And today we're going to be preparing this awesome dish that we actually served a couple nights at the Speakeasy for a fundraiser. And I thought this would be a perfect thing to to showcase on our show today, which is a French cut pork chop topped with an orange marmalade confit sauce. We're going to serve it over some garlic mashed potatoes and we're going to pair it up with some asparagus. So that's what we're serving today. Now because we uh, we, we don't have the best cooking uh, um, kitchen to work with, we, I started the, the pork chop already and I've got it in a pan right here and it's already starting to smoke really good. And I'm going to just season it with a little garlic pepper and a little Lowry's. A little Lowry salt. And that's about ready to turn. And I've got just a little butter down in the pan. Because that's, I always got to cook with butter. Does that smell good? We're going to just let that simmer for a little while. And while that's waiting, I've got some oranges here, an orange here that I'm just peeling. With the biggest knife I could find. And we're just going to dice that up and that's what's going to go into the orange marmalade confit sauce. And the trick to this sauce is a little orange marmalade. I'm going to dice that up and that's going to go in there. And we're also going to just squeeze a little lime juice and a little lemon juice right into the pan when that's going. And the, the best part of it is the contro. Oh, I should have known you'd, you'd be clapping at that. We've got a couple of uh, regulars from the speakeasy over here. <laughs> we're we're going to just let that slow cook. But while, while that's cooking, I got some couple of gals that are pretty special to me in the audience today. They're my nieces all the way from Moorhead, Minnesota. I'm watching them because their parents' house, of course, is one of the ones that was evacuated during the flood. So let's give them a big hand. You want to stand up? This, these are my nieces, Madison and Rainey. Welcome. Welcome. Aren't they beautiful? I think I might have them all week. So, we're going to let that cook for a little bit and we'll be right back after these messages. Welcome back to Easy Gourmet. All right, and this is where you clap, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. Now, the pork chop's about done and it's looking great and I'm sure you can smell it already. Somebody asked uh, while we were on break, uh, what makes a pork chop a French cut pork chop? And uh, if you probably see many pork chops, so you, meat's kind of all around the bone. Well, they actually cut the meat back. And you can see how the bone comes out of it, and that, that gives it a really nice presentation. So, so we're going to let that cut a little bit, and then I'm going to get the asparagus going. I'm going to roll it up in a little prosciutto. And we're going to just stick it with a frill pick. So it looks like that. That's just. And then we're going to start our sauce. Oh. We need to get the pan nice and hot. Because we want the sauce, the, the liquor to cook down so that it takes the alcohol out of it. So everybody can, well. Some of us like it with the alcohol in it, right? But we got to make sure all it's that it works for all ages. 
So we're going to get that nice and hot, and then we're going to stick a little of the contro in there, and it's just going to flame up. Ooh. And we're going to get the oranges in there. And we're going to stick just a little lemon juice. We want that to reduce. A little lime. And when there, it's nice and hot, we're going to put on a little show for you. is a little higher than normal. There you go. How about just a little bit more? See, is the flame still going? And then we're going to add the orange marmalade to it. And that's just going to thicken the sauce up. Just a little bit more. And the orange marmalade's got all this zest in it and it just gives it just a brilliant flavor. And that's all there is to our sauce. So we've got a little potato that's going to go right on the plate here. See if we can ever get it out. You want a nice mound to, to uh, have the pork chops, pork chops st stand straight up on the plate. Just like that. And in the magic of TV, you're going to imagine that this is already done. And that's how it's going to be served. And we're going to scoop some of the orange marmalade sauce right over the top of the pork chop. And around the plate. We're going to garnish it with a little edible flour. And there you have it. The French cut pork chop with the orange confit sauce. I want to thank you all for joining us today on the Easy Gourmet. And I definitely want to thank my two nieces, Madison and Rainey. Happy to have you with me today. We'll see you next time on Easy Gourmet. And I actually have some porks. You can give it a little, t the uh, sauce, a little taste if you want. What were the chunks of orange at the beginning? Mm -hmm. It's just a sliced up orange. Yep, that's all it is. And I added that to the orange marmalade just to give it a little more texture. I'll go get my mop. Yeah. And I have a... Oh, nice. So how do you cook the asparagus? The asparagus I would just drizzle with a little olive oil and throw that on a pan and, and put a little salt and pepper on and throw it in the oven. That's it. Yep, just throw it right in the oven. Yeah, that's about all it needs. Yeah, at about 400 degrees.